Hello guys, welcome to this channel. This is me Mangalwani, your boss girl and today I am here at Versatile Academy here in Nasik. So we are today going to answer your questions, mostly what students have regarding UK student visa full process. So this video is all about that and I have got ma'am Sanjana Rai ma'am here with me, Hello, senior counsellor at Versatile Academy. So there are many questions that ma'am students ke, ki exactly UK mein kyun padna chahiye, why is UK like so hyped. What is the cost? Mm -hmm. And actually, applications kaise start karte hai, visa kaise aata hai, bhoot sare questions hota hai. Mujhe to kuch pata hai nahi because guys, let me tell you that I am uh, going to Canada, so I have no idea. So yeah, this is my very first time me exploring the different countries scenarios of uh, the study abroad process. So yeah ma'am, let's okay. start with what are the perks of studying in UK. Uh, so basically, as you said that why UK is so hyped, it's because UK is UK will give you quality education that you're looking for, and world's top universities are in the UK. So anybody who searches online that best university for this course, best university for that course, so the universities that will come up on your Google search engine would be of UK mostly. So that is why UK is and it is known for education since a very very long time. So that is why UK is called as, you know, um, one of the top destinations when it comes to studying abroad. So right. UK has That's always right. been and UK will always be when it comes to studying abroad. So how can one start to plan the first step towards the process of studying in UK? How do they start? Okay, so I'll also cover uh, one more thing that how early one should start. So the process, they should, the one should start the process six to seven months before the intake. So if you're planning for September, start six to seven months before your intake. So there are two major intake that one is Jan one is January and one is September. Okay. So start accordingly. How do they start the documents? So the very first thing is you visit a consultancy uh, because that makes your process easier because visa is also one of the parts that you'll have to deal with. So it is better to hire a consultant first, go to a consultancy, get into the details of what course you want to study right then uh, there comes a process of documentation mm -hmm. so documentation is very very important in uk because uh, there are two major things that are needed apart from your 10th 12th your bachelor's diploma masters whatever course you're going for so and your passport your uh, cv or mm -hmm. a resume this letter of recommendation and their statement of purpose that is required before the application. Mm -hmm. So you need that. So your documentation has to be at place when it comes to uh, applying, uh, you know, starting with your application process. So in Canada, we do the SOP part when Later. we are filing the visa. Yes. So in UK, yes. you do it first while you are planning to apply for Yes, it. absolutely correct. Okay. So what do you think, how can one shortlist the universities and what are the cost you know, when they prefer that these cities are preferred hai. Hmm. So accordingly, cost is how it is, less and more? Okay, so the first question I'll answer uh, is, you know, about how do they shortlist. So when it comes to shortlisting, I always recommend students to choose the city first hmm. because the city is more important than the university as per my suggestion because hmm. They are going there for, uh, you know, to get the exposure. So if you're going for exposure, you have to focus on the city first. Okay. So may, the very first thing is look for a good city hmm. where you will get good part-time jobs, where you can also get good opportunities for full-time jobs. And the city is lively, so you know, you don't feel homesick. Hmm. So there are a lot of factors involved hmm. when it comes to choosing the uh, city. Hmm. So the very first thing is choose the right city hmm. and your consultant will guide you about hmm. the universities as per your profile. So that Just is like how uh, students want to go to London and yes. the main suburbs of the yes. UK. Yes. So England is prefer, preferred by students. So London is something that students generally prefer. Right. So London, I would also recommend going to city like London or maybe nearby cities. Hmm. You can go to Manchester, you can go to Sheffield, you can go to Leeds, hmm. you can go to Coventry. There are very hmm. nice cities where you can go so you can get part-time jobs as well. How do you get started with the application? What are the fees of the application? Do they charge anything if you're applying in UK? And how many universities they should at least like you know apply in? So uh, you should apply to five to six universities, not more than that, because hmm. there are range of universities. So there are top end universities as well. There are average universities as well, and there are universities where you know 
uh, you normally get into it. And so every yes. is paid. Like no, application. not all the universities have application fees. Mm -hmm. Only some of the top end universities like Manchester, mm -hmm. Warwick, King's College London, mm -hmm. Edinburgh, Glasgow. Mm -hmm. So these universities How much have. They charge like in the Indian terms. Uh, Sixty. Six, uh, the application fees is normally sixty pounds to hundred, hundred twenty pounds. Okay. So that goes from six thousand rupees to ten to twelve thousand rupees. Okay. So they'll get the options free and they can balance both. Like you also yes. apply them free and you also apply. Yes, yes. Pay. That's a very good thing about the hmm. UK. So what is the uh, next step, ma'am? After you applied to the. So once you've applied. Um, you so not all universities will be sending you emails because some applications are paper applications but maximum nowadays the applications are online so you get emails create a portal so you can check your entire application and that so you can you know if there's something pending you can upload all your documents and then you start getting the updates from the universities about and the something offer letters or yes getting a, a an offer letter <laughs> So the best thing about uh, UK is Manvi that you get a conditional offer. So okay. you get an idea that will I be getting in somewhere or will I be not. Hmm. So that is a very good thing about UK. Hmm. So you get okay. conditional. So offer. conditional as in like what conditions they mostly. It have. depends. So if the student is com uh, you know doing his or her bachelor's degree, hmm. so the condition would be getting the final results. Final results. IELTS or a language test. What is the IELTS scenario for UK? Like how much they have to score? Minimum? Six point five is no bad less than. Six is the overall generic but requirement, but there are universities that will accept you with six band, hmm. five point five. So there are universities that that will accept you accept you with the medium of instruction. Hmm. There are universities with other English language tests as hmm. well. Okay. So do they need any specific like good marks and academics yes. to get into मतलब conditional में वैसे भी कुछ रहता है यू हैव टू गेट गुड एग्रीगेट्स यस सो कंडीशन विल स्पेसिफिकली मेंशन दैट 55 परसेंट 60 परसेंट 65 परसेंट व्हाटेवर द कंडीशन वुड बी इट विल बी क्लियरली मेंशन इन योर ऑफर लेटर ओके सो नाउ दैट यू हैव गोट योर ऑफर लेटर व्हाट डू वी डू नेक्स्ट so the next thing is you need to understand if your offer letter has a deposit mentioned in it mm. or not mentioned in it so if a deposit is mentioned you need to pay the deposit so yeah. you meet your counselor you get the details how to pay your deposit and everything mm. mostly it is through bank transfer mm. but then nowadays it's uh, convera as well that has come mm. up so you can pay the uh, you know tuition fees from that as well okay. so, so deposit we had the uh, flyer wire options flyer wire is also there in uk but not okay. a lot of universities have flyer wire so okay. it depends university to you university mm. varies and mostly kitna uh, students ko bharna padta hai like 1 lakh from uh, like from 500 pounds to 5000 pounds okay it the varies you know and to like in canada we have to pay the one year tuition full fees so here in uk it's not like that hmm. you don't have to pay full tuition fees you can hmm. go up to 80 uh, 60% of the fees okay. because 60% of the fees is required for your enrollment hmm. even if you have paid 500 pounds hmm. don't uh, you know just go with that because after your visa before you fly you have to pay 60% of your tuition fees okay. otherwise you will not get enrolled into your university Hmm. And what about the finances? They show like here we have GIC. So what is required if they want to just go? So just tuition fees or do they see living expenses? How to manage? Yes. How is that? So done? living is living expense. How to manage? Karenge, that is very important. And UK is very easy. UK doesn't trouble you at all hmm. like other countries. UK hmm. is like you show us 28 days old funds. Hmm. You show us an education loan letter that you have been sanctioned an education loan. we do not need any of your itrs we do not need any of your documents so it is really very deep. clear when it comes to funding they need 28 days old funds either you show it in the form of fixed deposits or you show it in the form of savings account that's all you guys uh, asking you guys from so once the student is done with doing the deposit what is the next step so once the deposit is paid uh, if your offer is conditional you apply for an unconditional once mm -hmm. you get an unconditional offer letter from the universities now there's a process comes that is called as pre cash hmm. so pre cash is basically if the university is asking you for some financial documents okay. to issue you a cash letter hmm. so before what you ask me what is cash so you know what is that so cash is confirmation of acceptance of studies okay so that's a letter hmm. that says that you have been confirmed and or that that you are a genuine student hmm. and that all of your details are mentioned in that how much deposit you paid hmm. so it's like a receipt 
it also works kind of a confirmation from the okay. university that we have accepted you okay. and now you can apply for your visa okay so unless you have that letter mm-hmm. you cannot file your visa so that is very very important hmm. so pre cases like that i was saying ki wo they check what all finances you have once your finances are approved they issue you a letter called cas not all the universities do this pre cas okay but so, you need your funds for visa so it is very tough to get cas or it's mediocre like it's very easy to get cas okay it's not difficult and also the, there are some universities that will take interview as well for okay. your cas okay. so that's a very basic interview and then it's called as a credibility interview so you just not very to tough. tell whatever you have they just want to uh, understand that you're genuine hmm. Hmm. that's right. all so once you have received your cas confirmation of acceptance of studies okay hmm. so we are done with the admission and getting the proof of it now you hmm. file your visa right right hmm. absolutely so yeah, okay you want to understand how the visa, visa works the visa yeah how the visa works uk is as i said uk is a very very nice country my hmm. personal favorite country yeah. because visa also they don't they won't trouble you much hmm. so the very first thing is once you, as you already have your funds hmm. ready for your cas So the very first thing is you pay for your immigration health surcharge. Hmm. You should have your tuberculosis test ready. And uh, you want to ask something? I am just wondering why this specific like we in Canada we did whole uh, medical test. test because UK is very good in uh, you know medicals but then the only thing that they don't have the you know the ilaj for i would hmm. say is tb okay so that is why tuberculosis test is and very very they important. don't want to get that into their exactly. country so, so they are is, making sure yes yes, yes, yes. The they don't have the cure true. for it so they are looking for the test okay so you need your tb test report hmm. you have to pay your immigration health surcharge charge wherein hmm. once you reach uk you get all the health what are the charges for the health visa charge? visa process like visa fees visa fees is around um, because it changes as per the pounds rate so hmm. i would say in indian rupees it goes from 36000 rupees to 38000 rupees hmm. and uh, little bit <coughs> expensive then it's pounds yeah we are talking about so naturally <laughs> it is going to yeah. be expensive hmm. and uh, health insurance hmm. again a uh, health insurance if you're paying for a year so there's a link where you can check how much of your insurance how hmm. much of the insurance you have to pay hmm. so the insurance minimum is around 70000 rupees i would say for a year Okay, and also if you are taking loan, so even they give you the health yes, insurance. Yes, they will help right? you with the insurance. Cover, yes, yes, yes. They, they will reimburse your insurance hmm. amount that you have so paid. So, what about the documents? Like, बहुत सारे documents. बहुत सारे documents तो नहीं होते हैं actually UK में. So, as I as I, I was t- telling you, the major hmm. documents are your t- tuberculosis test hmm. report. Your CAS is already with the UK VI, but hmm. then you can again attach it. Hmm. Your passport, hmm. all your academic documents that are hmm. mentioned in your CAS. financial documents hmm. then there's affidavit of support if your parents are sponsoring you hmm. then your birth certificate if loan your parents sanction. are sponsoring you hmm. your loan sanction letter hmm. and uh, your ielts if you have attached if you have given ielts then attach your ielts right. and uh, as i said you will get your test report hmm. apart from that this nothing how much more. like how many days you get the visa like uk visa if you have applied early you, you can any time get it you can get it in 8 days also you can get in 10 days as what well what was the earliest uh, visa you have got 7 days 7 days uh, वैसे तो i would say agar super priority if the student is super priority mm-hmm. category okay. so then the visa comes in 2 days 2 days but, but then you must have to pay more like, for that mm-hmm. and the students can apply for priority if the mm-hmm. you know if the process is delayed mm-hmm. they can apply for priority and get the visa in 6 days as well okay so yeah i think this was the whole process yes. of for you deciding what to take course wise uh, area wise to you getting the final visa in your hands so yeah guys we are done with covering this topic i hope you get your uk visa student visa really soon and yeah we are glad to provide the information by yourself yes. so if you're looking for uh, any services related to study abroad in any country you can definitely contact us या बिकॉज आई थिंक कभी कभी आपको जेन्यून कंसल्टेंट्स नहीं मिलते हैं आई एम डन विद माई प्रोसेस यू कैन डेफिनेटली रीच दम आउट आई एम अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ एयर इट सेल्फ सो या सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो गाइज लेट मी नो इफ यू गॉट एनी डाउट्स वी विल फॉर श्योर आंसर योर कमेंट्स ओके सो या मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में बाय टेक केयर